Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Fig Jam is a free whiteboard tool from Figma that has the potential to replace Google Jamboard, which is being retired at the end of 2024. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through a basic tutorial for understanding the tools and features of Fig Jam, as well as the pros and cons to consider as a teacher. Andy Bernard, pros. He's classy, he gets me. Now this is gonna have a lot of information, so feel free to use the video chapters to navigate to the specific part that you need, either on the video or using the links in the description. In order to get to Fig Jam, you can head to the website, figma.com slash fig jam, which I will link for you in the description box, or just do a Google search of Fig Jam and it will come up. For the cost, Fig Jam is free for teachers and students, but it requires verification where you enter your role, your school, and answer a few other questions, but that will be linked for you in the description. Now you can also create a starter account for free, which includes up to three files, three pages, and one project with 30 days of revision history, or you can always upgrade to some of the other account options, either on a monthly or yearly basis, and the prices for that will be on the screen. Now, in order to sign up, you can create your free account by clicking Try Fig Jam in the top right corner. Now for mobile, there is an app available for both Apple and Android. The app is actually called Figma, which is the larger company, rather than Fig Jam but I will link both of those options down below. If you are using an iPad specifically, there is a Fig Jam app, but it is only going to work on an iPad, not on an iPhone. But these apps will allow you to view and edit Fig Jam files. If you want more information, I'm going to link a guide for the Fig Jam mobile version down below in the description. There also is a Google Chrome extension available in the Chrome web store. It is also called Figma rather than Fig Jam, but it will allow you to attach Fig Jam files to Google Calendar events, and that will be linked below as well. Next, let's do a quick website overview just so you can understand the terminology that Fig Jam is using. First, you have your teams. You can almost think about this as each class that you teach or each subject that you teach. Then you have your projects. This is going to be a group of files that are all related. So maybe they're all the same subject area or the same unit. And then finally, you have your files, which include your fig jams, as well as other design files that you create. Now, when it comes to creating a whiteboard, there are a few different ways that you can go about it. If you wanna create just a blank whiteboard, you can click fig jam board in the top right and then select the team. Or if you go directly to the team or to your drafts and then select fig jam board, it will automatically create one. You also have the option to start with a template you can actually browse the templates right there on the home screen or once you have created a blank board you can insert in a template using the AI generator on the left side or using the template button which I will show you later on and finally if you want an even faster way to create a blank whiteboard you can just type figjam.new right in your address bar and it will create a new file for you Next, let's go through the tools and features available on a Fig Jam whiteboard. We are going to separate this by the different toolbars. So there is the board menu across the top and then the toolbar across the bottom. Let's start by going through the board menu at the top. The first button you see is the main menu button. If you click it, you will have your options for file, edit, view, etc. Next, you have your timer, music, and voting button. If you click, it will expand and from there, you can adjust the volume, set the timer, play, pause it. You can choose music from some different options or create a vote if you have an upgraded account that is not available on the starter account, but it is available if you verify that you are a teacher. Next, you have the generate button that is going to give you those AI options followed by the template button, which will open up those templates that you can search and browse. Next, you have the add comment button. This is going to change your cursor to a black speech bubble. And if you click anywhere on the whiteboard, you can add a comment, but you can also use the window on the right side to navigate and filter comments. 
Next, you have the title of your Fig Jam. If you click on that title, you can edit it, but you can also click the arrow next to it and you will get a drop down of options, including the version history, duplicate, rename, favorite, and delete. Next, you have your multiplayer tools. You are going to see little icons for everyone who currently has access to the whiteboard. Then you have the share button. This is very similar to sharing Google files. You can invite others by email and you can edit that access level. Now let's go through the toolbar at the bottom. First, you have the select tool. This is just your basic cursor. And as you hover over it, you will notice there are keyboard shortcuts as well. Then you have the hand tool. This this is going to be best for scrolling across the whiteboard without clicking on anything. Next is the marker tool. This allows you to choose between a marker, highlighter, washi tape, or eraser. You can choose the thickness and color, and obviously this can then be used to draw directly on the whiteboard. Then you have sticky notes. You can choose the color, click on the whiteboard to insert it. You can type text or even mention others with the at sign. You can format the font in the sticky note. You can add links or show or hide the author. And then you can use the square corners to resize the sticky note and those plus marks on each side to add additional stickies. Next up are the shapes and connectors. There are options for different connectors or straight lines. You have basic shapes, and of course you can adjust again the color, the thickness, but there is also a drop down that will allow you to switch to flowchart or miscellaneous just to see some additional shape options. And then you also have a mind map that you can easily insert and edit. Once you insert any of these shapes or lines, you can then go in and customize it however you need. Next, you have the text button, which will insert in a text box followed by the section button. If you click and drag, you can create a section on the whiteboard. You can then give it a background color and you have that templates button. You can rename the section and show or hide the section. So this is a great way to kind of prepare whiteboards in advance and have certain parts hidden. Next up is the table button. That's pretty straightforward. We've all used tables before. And then you have the stamp button. There are emojis with which will basically react and then disappear. But there also are stamps that are gonna stay on there almost like a sticker. And once you click, it's just gonna repeat so you can put the stamp in multiple places before switching to another option. And then finally, you have the widgets, stickers, templates, and more. If you click, there are a ton of options here. I'm gonna show you a few in just a minute, but if you click more, this is where you can insert in your own images and links, which does include linking to other files as well as YouTube videos. Next, I wanna highlight some of the pros of FigJam, starting with the Jamboard importer. If you saw my video all about Jamboard shutting down, I mentioned that importers would become available with some of these other whiteboard options, and the importer for FigJam is available now. So once you log into your account, you're gonna click the import button in the top right corner. You're gonna choose from Jamboard. It's gonna prompt you to connect your Google Drive, and then you can select the Jamboard file. After a few seconds, it will then be available as a Fig Jam file. Now, each of your different slides or frames that you had on Jamboard are gonna be inserted kind of as separate little sections on the Fig Jam file. But you can go in and edit the templates, which is a huge time saver. Another pro of FigJam is that there are over 300 ready-made templates that you can insert. If you are looking for education-specific templates, I recommend going to figma.com slash at education, but I will have the direct link to that down below. Some of the templates that I think are fantastic for teachers include magnetic letters, jigsaw activities, pros and cons, see, think, wonder, frayer model diagrams, tree diagrams, and even four corners templates. Another pro of FigJam is that there are built-in AI capabilities that will generate templates for you, but you can also use the AI in order to sort and even summarize text, such as the sticky notes. So that's a really great tool to have at the end of the lesson just to recap. 
Another pro is that you can invite collaborators on the whiteboard with no login required. So that means the other people joining the whiteboard do not need to have an account. Now, this is only available on upgraded accounts, but again, if you're a teacher, you should be good to go. Just click the share button and then you're gonna click start open session. This will allow access for up to 24 hours without a login. Now, another pro is that you can have up to 200 users collaborating on the same file, which should be more than enough for most standard classes and teachers. Obviously, this can be overwhelming, so you're gonna wanna set expectations. <sighs> Shame, Jim. I expected more. I do have an image that I will link for you down below. You can download it from Google Drive and it's great to insert into your files with some of those reminders. Another pro is spotlight mode. This forces students to follow you as the teacher. In order to turn this on, go to the multiplayer tools and then click on spotlight me. But there also is observation mode, which students can turn on for any of the other users and it will then follow that user. So in order for them to turn that on, once again, they're gonna click on the multiplayer tools, click on the button of the account that they want to follow and it will turn on that observe mode. Another pro are all of the built-in communication features within FigJam. I already mentioned the comments and stamps, but there also is cursor chat. So on your keyboard, if you type the slash key, you can then type live temporary messages to others on the file and then just click escape or click with your mouse anywhere on the file for it to disappear. There also is audio chat, which is great for spontaneous conversations. The audio chat button is next to the user icons at the top and you can record voice memos. So if you click the widgets button down at the bottom, search for voice memo, you can then record audio clips and they will stay there for students to replay. Speaking of widgets, another pro is all of the widgets and plugins available. Again, you can find these under that widgets button down in the bottom toolbar, but some of the widgets that are really helpful for teachers include dice, there's a flip a coin widget, there are alignment scales, rock, paper, scissors, and then if you do a little searching, you can even find Connect Four, there's a card game builder, there are spinners, and then even Bitmoji, so you can add your own personalized Bitmoji, which is a lot of fun. For plugins, some of my favorites include the stamp counter, as well as the PDF viewer and flat icon, which is great for finding some of those basic images. Another pro is that you can create a force copy link just like you can do within Google Slides. So in order to create this force copy link, you're gonna click the share button, make sure the sharing settings are set to anyone with the link can view. You're gonna copy the link, you're going to delete the question mark and all of the text after it, and you're gonna replace it with slash duplicate. Once you hit enter, it will generate a copy for whoever has that link. And speaking of Google, FigJam does play fairly nicely with Google. First of all, you can integrate it within Google Meet, which might be really helpful for any virtual meetings. You can also attach FigJam files to Google Calendar events using that Google Chrome extension that I mentioned previously. You can also insert FigJam files into Google Docs and Google Sheets as smart chips, which might be really handy for lesson planning, but I think one of the biggest pros is Big Jam actually has a free self-paced course that you can do and you can get a certificate of completion at the end and it will give you a lot of background information on how to use it. So that course will be linked for you down in the description box. But as with most things where there are pros, there are also cons. So let's go into some of the cons that I have found with Big Jam. First of all, if you are wanting to use FigJam with students under the age of 13, you do have to have your school reach out to Figma and sign their terms for schools. So that's just a little bit of added friction. I will also say that you can tell Figma was designed with business as a mind and there's nothing wrong with that, but some of the templates available and even the widgets and plugins just aren't really going to apply to education. However, I do think they are really expanding the options they have available for teachers and students, so I am hopeful. And then finally, this is true with a lot of things, the AI is in beta mode, which means it's not the best and sometimes 
By the time you finish writing a very detailed prompt to get what you want, you could have just made it yourself. <laughs> but all of that aside, there are so many ways that you can use FigJam as a teacher. It's perfect for brainstorming, facilitating class discussions, generating like digital graphic organizers or diagramming different ideas. You can also use it to create timelines or help students collaborate during group work. You can generate student check-ins for morning meetings to tie in some socio-emotional health. And you can even use it as a teacher with other teachers in your building for various meetings and PDs or even your team planning. But that is it. That is Fig Jam in a nutshell, probably a big nutshell, but I wanted to make sure I covered all of the basics for getting started, went over the tools and highlighted some of those pros and cons for you to consider as a teacher before you choose a tool to use in the classroom. If this was helpful for you, please give the video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you do not miss any future videos. All of those links I mentioned will be down in the description box. As always, thank you for watching. I love you so much. Don't forget to put your positive pants on and I will catch you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,